Hello everybody, my name is indeed Cacti Mama, and today we are going to be finishing, that's right, finishing the ASOL Monthly Challenges. And the first one that we are going to have to do is this round start, kill all units and revive them, summon a random Poro, deal one to the enemy nexus, da 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 However, what I think might be a little bit stronger than that is to play Jinx. And I have a special build on Jinx where I go plunder just to get her out a little bit faster. But I have this, whenever I'm summoned, discard your entire hand. I then create that many powwows, or pow powwows in hand. And then I have GA. So anytime that she dies, she'll get resummoned again anyways. So she's going to constantly be doing this whole idea of summoning, then discarding, then summoning, then discarding, then summoning, then discarding. And it should get to the point where I just literally like one shot their nexus. So, I'm hoping that it works. It, I believe it is my final Jinx use, so no more Jinx after this, but I think it's just too strong to pass up, honestly. So, we're just going to go in with it in mine tier. And... We'll take a ribbon, I guess. Extra card, like, hand space. Not really too worried about it. Um... No, this is that amazing. Jinx getting regeneration. It's like okay. It's not really that great. So I'll just keep now like something like these two are pretty good. This especially is pretty good. And then the jury rig's not bad either. So we'll just take those two. Uh, and we'll make sure we have the correct ribbon skin. Perfect. And we'll go in. Alright, but yeah, basically the entire game plan is just play Jinx, and then win game. Uh, that's the whole game plan. I know. Very, very sophisticated stuff, but uh, Rune Weaver actually we might have wanted to keep, just because we get a rally. I think it's round start. Yeah, I should have done that. It would have given me a free rally every single turn. I don't know if it would have been in my hand long enough to actually put on the, the actual thing, but um, still pretty good. I'm just going to attack with this only. Cool. I mean, hey, if they want to get rid of one Fizz early, fine by me. Makes them do less damage to my Nexus anyways. Okay, there we go. So we got a Fizz out early. Perfect. Okay, so when this resummons, I'll have an extra one, obviously. And um, now we can play the, the Jury Rig. Okay, that's fine. Come on, come on. Okay, so now we're gonna play Jinx here, and we should just have enough to just do so much damage. The only thing that won't die is that stupid tough Boro. That's the only one that's never gonna die to anything that I do besides that. It's going to be so invigorating. Oh, yeah. So, hypothetically, they should discard my hand and then redo it. it, it this, that should be how this works. Okay, there we go. That's one. Look at that. And it's going to do it again. Yes! Let's go! The combo works! Let's go! Look at that! It's so broken! Who needs friends when you have Jinx? You know, like... That's basically what I'm taking away from this. And we have all these powwows anyway. It's fine. Alright, we're just gonna hope that it goes to this one. It did not go to that one. Alright, whatever. We still win the game, so it's fine. And, uh, yeah. And so we could just do that. It would literally be an infinite loop. So it's just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And, uh, yeah. So that, that's what makes it really strong as a loop. It's the fact that all those Jinxes are just going to keep reviving themselves. And from that, they are going to continue to discard that. And, you know, after two or three turns of Jinx being in play, the, the enemy should have already lost again. So pretty strong stuff here. Just because of her star power. And yes, one less cost Jinx is very good with this deck. Very, very good. And this is really good. Holy cow. My destination. Alright. Tell you when I get there. 
And so this is number 66. And then we'll have four more between us and a perfect victory. I think we'll be like number six or something in that list. And all right. So this is pretty good. We just need to play Zonite Urken and do a Jinx. Can we please get a Jinx? No way. No way we don't get a Jinx. Come on, give us a Jinx, please. All right, haha, ha, funny joke. Give me a Jinx, please. What? Nah, dude. Nah, man. We're not gonna start depriving me of Jinx, are we? No way. No way we're gonna start doing that. That is so lame, by the way. That is so lame. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. How can I help? Okay. Well, at least we have this to kill off everything. All right, we'll take it. I mean, we are denying them, but it's like, if we had Jinx here, we could have already won the game. I learned that in class. Well, I mean, I guess we can play a ribbon for free. Sleep is for the guiltless. Um, we can play this, actually. I told you that that combo worked pretty well, but uh, I didn't have a chance to really try it until now. Try it anyways. You know, I was going to say that if we get the perfect drop, which is that one right there, hitting that in the middle, then uh, we can literally just attack with everything, which is what we did. All right, we, we need to, even if, like, can we please get the combo that I've been trying to play for? Like, that would be nice to get the thing that I've been trying to do this whole time. I mean, at least we get a rally, too, so that's kind of cool. Give me, no, we didn't get that. Okay. Um, well, we can actually... Which one's a copy? This one's the copy. So, maybe we can get something interesting done here. Um, we will do this. Actually, I should have kept that one. Shoot. Wow, they're actually going to stun that? That's kind of crazy. Alright, we'll do that, and we'll do that. And I think we're in a pretty good spot. We should have enough here, I'm pretty sure. Come on. That that should be enough. It's crazy that I didn't even need Jinx. I didn't draw Jinx either. I have 14 cards off. The fact that I didn't draw Jinx is kind of impressive, actually. Alright, obviously we can just open attack here. I had enough to just do lethal on its own, but... Alright, we win! Let's go! Two pretty quick wins, honestly. We are using all the OP champs, you know but I must do. I'd rather not lose my perfect run because I decided to overestimate my capabilities into the strongest runs in the entire game. So, I will refrain from being too confident. All right. Give yeah, up. Wait. Wait, was that the only the first one? Oh, wait, I did the Aurelians. Oh, right. I'm so silly. Okay, so that was the first one. So we got four left. And we have Vago with Howling Abyss. Shreeman cards. I mean, what? Do we even have that Shreema that's OP. Do we have a Shreema champion that's OP? I mean, Kaisa's pretty good, but I don't, I don't know if it's worth it to play Kaisa here. I mean, oh, Nidalee's good. Yeah. Nidalee is OP here. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so we're going to play Nidalee. Now, it isn't a Viego. There's too many boss, right? There's no mini boss. What? That's so broken. We don't have to do a mini boss here. Uh, okay, so. Honestly, I kind of want to just put Spell Shield on Nidalee. We'll commit, though. We'll commit, we'll commit. Uh, we're just going to do Nidalee with my, my normal build on her, and I think this should be completely fine. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. Okay. Who do I want here? 
All of them are the strike one. I don't want that. I do like jacks, though. Okay, we'll go with the jacks. Pick. And... Yes! We got spell shield on her. Okay. That's really good because it means that uh, we can't get removed by Viego at all. And... Hopefully we can get something good here. Don't like anything so far. No, this isn't good, actually. I will... I guess I'll take the health pot. We'll take the health pot for a first speed no summon if we need it. And, uh... Me. We'll make sure. Alright, perfect. And we are good to go. We are good to go. Okay, so... Shroom and cards will cost one less the first time we play them each turn. So, Nidalee will obviously have an easier time. Because she is Shreeman. And... Maybe I should have had the Bristle Hog just in case we don't get Nidalee, but... Yeah, I was gonna say, but if, like, if we don't get Italy, we're trying to get robbed. Um, I think, I don't remember, is this our, I don't know, if, I don't remember if this was our last Italy run or not. My heroic last okay, well, we will do Jax first, then Italy. Maybe I should have done it the other way around, I don't know. But, uh, we aren't playing around. Is he gonna. Gonna add some good damage. Alright. Okay. We need to be playing a little defensively with our stunts here, anyways. We'll play Terrain Trooper. And then we should be able to burst speed, stop anything that we need to. Ooh, yeah. Like, see, like, Kindred can be really frustrating here. If we're. Yeah, we'll just stun you. She is not playing around. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And should be pretty good. We'll transform this guy at the start. They're vulnerable, which is nice. Uh okay, we're gonna transform you. Man, I am not getting good transforms. Just because it technically costs less, but it's like that's not good. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. We will still attack. And we will still pull that Kindred in. Because we do not want to get marked by that Kindred. At all. Not in the slightest. Okay, I'll be able to do damage. Probably to Viego. They're probably going to summon Viego here, I would assume. Ooh, no. They're going to kill their Karma. Because I still have Javelin Toss. I'll take it, though. I'll, I'll definitely take it. Don't you guys worry. Okay, so that's my first summon. I have another one coming. I also have this, which you can use. See, this is what I was worried about. Stuff like this, where you, you get a lot of bunch of things that can slay you pretty easily. And then we just stun them. Yeah, pretty simple. We stun them on their attack turns. We attack on our attack turns. We build back up to the stun. And then we stun them on their attack turn. It's pretty pretty simple stuff. Um, but hey, it works. So we will continue to do it. I have their scent. Um, we might be able to get fortunate with this one. Ooh, ooh, we did. We got, we got the we got the double attack one. That might be enough, actually. Oh my god, we're literally one off. Oh my god, there's no way. Oh my god, I'm I cannot believe I'm literally one off of winning. Ooh, okay, well we're gonna get rid of you first off. Oh good, we can get that going. Okay, we are going to need to start summoning some things, though. Geo 4 to him. Too late to run. 
I am going to play this now. I'm playing this now so that next turn, I don't have to play anything. And literally the only thing I have to do is just stun their board. Whenever they attack, just stun their board. That's all I have to do. Just play this. And then I should win. Because they're literally at 1 HP. The only way I lose is like by some like crazy way that they like double remove spell shield on Nidalee. Which won't happen. Come on. Alright guys, watch it. Magical. Huge. It's so good. You don't even need the rally relic. You just attack them on the next turn. Does death follow me for peace? Yeah, we attack with Nidalee first, obviously. And then we're gonna attack with... Good question, actually. Maybe we go with this one? Or do we want the 8 boss? I think we'll go with this one. Oh, nice. We're getting elusive. Huge. Okay, nice. That's a win right there, baby. Woo! Billy has so much impact damage, too. It's crazy we only lost that by one attack damage. As it should. Okay. All right. Well, we did it. So that's a victory right there. All right. That was number sixty-seven. So now we have just sixty-eight, sixty-nine, and seventy left. So three more. This one, Jasper, with the mini boss Vizier, which is kind of annoying because they're like two different types of enemies. Plunder, Grammy, plus one, plus one. I'm not worried about that one. I'm worried about this recall one. Um, so we don't have any more Jinx runs left. We do have LeBlanc runs left, I'm pretty sure, right? Pretty sure we have LeBlanc. She's just moving around here. Yeah, we do. We have a LeBlanc run left. I think LeBlanc should be really strong here. Um, so I think I'm going to play LeBlanc. You could say that Gwen would be good here, too. I just think that, hmm, actually, so I will take peaks actually in the future here because I don't want to lose. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. Players have no cards in their hand. They have plus two, plus two. Strikes, granite, plus two, plus two. And it's going to be Katarina. Ooh, that's going to be brutal. Um, what's this one? So, okay. Sorry, I'm giving you guys a little peek in advance, but I, I did want to just see what I was dealing with here, and I think LeBlanc's just stronger. I think she's the stronger pick. I think we just used the stronger pick here. I, I Guys, I got something to prove. I gotta win. I, I, I gotta do 70 for 70. This is the first monthly challenge that I've actually, like, put my mind to and actually sat down and, like, tried to win. So it would be really awesome if I could actually win it. So, um, yeah. We're gonna pick a Rallyan Soul here, actually. Because we can put, we can actually play Rallyan Soul quite easily. Which, believe it or not. Okay, we're definitely we're definitely picking this. Um, I don't need the free attack, though. I don't need the free attack. This isn't bad, actually. I kind of like that. And uh, we'll just go into Your that here. Let me just... Uh... Oh, yeah, we'll keep Storm Dragon really and for this one. Okay, we just need to draw LeBlanc. If we don't draw LeBlanc, we are in big trouble. But if we draw LeBlanc, we should be completely fine. We won't draw LeBlanc on our first turn. Uh, okay, well, that's a guaranteed way to draw LeBlanc. I like it. So... Okay, Azir cannot beat this guy in terms of attack, so I should be okay to play them. Azir will play down a card, and then he will block this because he's stupid, and I will immediately kill the Azir. That's right, manipulating them to our advantage. All right. Let's go. We're going to do the block now, just because there's, there's no reason not to. And the block strong. See what we see, I'll literally block with LeBlanc, I don't care. Even if LeBlanc died, we're still in a good spot. Like, that's how crazy it is. LeBlanc won't die, but, um... Still, quite the statement, right? Even if we lost LeBlanc, we would still be in a pretty good spot just with the way that we would attack with LeBlanc. It's true, she is literally everywhere. That is part of her story. So now what we do, right, is we will summon a exact copy of her, and then we will summon Aurelian Soul. So watch what we do. We literally just use this mirror image 
We're going to make an Aurelian Soul because he's going to be cheaper, right? He's going to be four cost cheaper because we have double star gem. It's your OP build. Um, if you haven't seen it for me yet already, well, please do go check it out because I believe it is so strong. Obliterate is just too broken not to use. And we're going to save our unit because the more damage, the merrier. And now we will attack with the attacking LeBlanc's last. That way we can get the most damage possible. And we will get a leveled up Aurelian Soul. Let's go. All right. A soul is going to level. I am the forger of stars. And this is why you pick something like a soul whenever you have a block like this build. Um, you can literally get away with just absurd stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to burn whatever card we had there, but uh, that's okay. We're going to just play this. Wow, they don't even have anything else they can play. That's kind of sad. Um... Let's just put them out of their mercy then, I guess. Make sure they don't have any blockers for next turn. I'll draw... I'll shield five and draw something as well as get Cosmic Inspiration. Well, we get a... Alright, cool. We get a Vigar. I mean, even... The crazy thing is, with the way that LeBlanc has their stuff operating, even Vigar looks pretty strong. <laughs> Only the 14 Okay, um, we just open attack here. They can use, like, Azir's Shuffle and stuff like uh, the, uh, the Arise stuff, but I still don't think they're really going to struggle that much. Yeah, they had Arise, but I don't think they can block enough. Because I still have... Oh my god, are they going to do the, the whole thing where they mitigate two damage, too? Uh, well, luckily I have a perfect lethal, so we win! I could have waited it out. I could have played more stuff, but I was trying to put the AI out of their misery. Alright, well, Azir wasn't much. I think there's one more. Wait, no, no, there isn't one more boss, right? I'm pretty sure there isn't one more boss in this one. Wait, no, no, there is, because we bought stuff. Yeah, okay, it's Yasuo, right? I remember. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, oh my god, Black Cleaver on Le Blanc. Oh my god, okay. I think we went off that, guys. Um, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, and we get Overwhelm on her, too. Yeah, because. What's better than having an absurd amount of stats? Also being able to just literally chew through their entire uh, their entire defense with it. Even it doesn't matter how many stuns they have on the block. We just win anyways. Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, maybe I should have kept star shaping, but keeping the block here is an obvious choice. Um, we can literally just let a Yasuo attack. It really doesn't matter. I'm literally just going to let Yasuo attack. It, it means nothing to me whether or not I get an S on every single run. Alright. It would be really hard for them to, to recall this back. If they can recall that back, it's actually really surprising. Um, now LeBlanc, on the other hand, whew, she's going to be looking good here. They might have the double stun unit, and even if they did, it still would be okay for me. So, I mean, they obviously have some sort of stun. Yeah. Yeah, not a shocker, uh, but we're, we're still going to give as much damage as possible. Oh no, they did two damage to my 12 health LeBlanc. <laughs> LeBlanc literally leveled in one attack. That's inc it's, it's just incredible. Oh my gosh. Alright, well they have another Yasuo. I don't think it's going to matter at this point. What have you become? If I, told you I was going to say, they're going to recall that. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple. I can literally just uh, fight that Yasuo. Alright. And then... Uh, you know what? We'll just take a little face here. That's okay. Oh, wait. I, yeah, I forgot I was going to double stun me. Hey, it is what it is. Alright, so now what we can do is... I think we just go wide here because there is a chance that they could have some counterplay. Yeah, see, they're, they're already starting to try and use some. So we will try to go wide here if we can. Wait 
don't want any trouble. Huge. Okay. So now what we do is we go like this. We go like that. And we just win. Look at that. Humility before power. Nice. And they can't stop me. Huge. Isn't it crazy how OP the OP champions are? It really is. It, it never ceases to blow my mind how broken these champions are. Never ceases to amaze me. All right. Okay, so this is the one where strongest dead follower strikes spirit plus two plus two. Isn't there a Katarina? Yeah, it's Katarina. Man, no cards. In Obviously, we don't have another Jinx, right? We we used all of our Jinx runs. Rip Jinx, she's down there. Um, we just have to stop Katarina. And I feel like we could do that with Nidalee. like. Here's my thought process, right? Um, it's either I do that or I do something like like Gwen, but I don't necessarily need to use Gwen. Like Gwen, Gwen actually could cause problems for me, you know. Whereas like, like if I play like if I play for like I could either play like LeBlanc for this one, or I could play you know something else. But this is giving me really 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 strong. Um, whereas um, if you look at this one, it's a lot different because this, this follower, like, I don't know. I'm just really worried about like Gwen getting just like completely one shot, you know? Um, whereas I don't really have that worry with LeBlanc or with Aesol. So I'm kind of leaning more towards Aesol here. Problem is, I actually don't think Aesol can keep up with the pace that uh, Katarina puts forward. So my thing is, like, do I just play... Hmm. Do I just play something like Evelyn? The only problem is Evelyn doesn't have lifesteal. I, let's try it with Gwen. I, I I think we can make it work with Gwen. I am a little worried about it. We have Stalker's Blade, Luden's Crown Dart, and Stalker's Blade should actually kill the Katarina, by the way, uh, out of everything. So, hopefully we should be able to make this work. Okay. It's only Katarina. All we need to do is beat Katarina. That's it. Um, let's get something better than those. Okay, we need something better than these. I mean, I, I guess uh, an 8... Four, or six four or six eight sorry bars isn't that bad um, not bad either but I don't know kind of want something else problem is I'm not getting anything good uh, oh okay that's not bad that is not bad at all uh, no nope not good oh they're both good. Overwhelm would be good for the finish, but I can do the endings blaze with Ludens. But Challenger allows me to pick up key targets. Which is, I think, a little bit... Wait, no. Don't I already have Overwhelm? I think I'm bringing Overwhelm. I'm not. Okay. Good to know. So I'm not bringing in Overwhelm. But I don't Ready for think it would be worth it anyway to bring in the Overwhelm. Because I think Challenger allows me to like keep myself alive longer. Which is my main build path. Like, when you build... Ludens on Gwen. You're looking to stay alive as long as possible. That's your goal. So, that's what I'll be trying to do. Alright. I have to survive until turn four. There's going to be a very scary attack that comes from that Katarina. Alright, Katarina. Please tell me you want to just die. Just, just pick yourself to die, please. Boo. You didn't want to die. It's just a neck. Now, luckily, actually, the one thing I didn't think about is I can actually block with the unit and then kill it before Katarina can attack it, which means that she won't reset. It's actually pretty cool. 
So explosives prime. Take them down. Brick by brick. Where's my axe? Allow me. Behind ya. Alright, so what they're gonna do is uh they're gonna play this. Oh no they're not. Okay, I'll take it. Alright. Oh my god, destroyed two champions. Nice. Um again, we're gonna kill that Katarina. So we what we wanna do is we wanna kill this Katarina. And then when they play the second Katarina, we won't kill that one. Because we're gonna play Nice. Come on, play your second Katarina. No. Oh, we don't have... Sp oh, no. That's annoying. Alright. Well, we're gonna have to survive another turn. That stun is really annoying. Yeah, that, that actually might ruin our game here. Luckily, we can kill units. Okay. We do have another Gwen, so... It's not over by any means. We have two thread the needles. I have to pass. We go here. Alright, I think that's enough. I just can't deal with another st a stun. I need to ha I need to be able to attack with Gwen. That's the annoying thing. I need to be able to attack with her. Because that, that is the one problem, right? Where it's like, I wouldn't have that problem with Evelyn. Maybe, uh, maybe I should have went Evelyn here. If I get stunned again with two cards left, that's pretty disgusting. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, that would be quite the um, experience there. I only get a drain three, though. But I should get the rally off, and then I'll be able to drain more. So, should be okay. And so this is where it's okay, because... Gwen's gonna drain so much back with the Ludens. Basically, for every two power you have, you drain that much in power back from Gwen. Um... Actually, I can atrocity this. Wait a second. I can atrocity this. Ooh, hoo, hoo. let's go. Nice. Holy cow. All right. And now we just atrocity. Let's go, dude. Oh my god. I was so worried we were going to lose that game. I know Gwen's broken, but like that is insane damage that Katarina puts out. Obviously, Katarina is a really scary boss in Path Champions, but man, that's insane. Alright, well, we beat the nice challenge. Now we gotta beat the last one. And honestly, I don't even think we use Asol here. I think we just use LeBlanc. Like, I, I think LeBlanc is too good. Like, I don't know. I just, like, LeBlanc just has so much going for her. She's gonna keep up with this pace a little bit faster. I, yeah, I, I think we just used LeBlanc, guys. I, I I think we just used this, this build. I think LeBlanc is going to carry us to the Promised Land. I, I don't think we need Aesol. Alright. Come on, we can't lose on the last one. We can't lose on the final one. I mean, a zero-cost gin would be pretty nice with the uh, Elusive. We'd be able to... We could also... Those Mystic Shots can go to base, which will be nice. I actually don't think Caitlyn's that scary. Also, the fact that they only go into one of them is really nice. Okay, the fact that we can get a barrier on LeBlanc at the start... Eh, actually, is it that good? <laughs> Whew. This is way better than this, by the way. 100%. You're going to see why in a second, but oh my goodness. We just pulled the most insane pull you could have pulled on LeBlanc. I think we've got this in the bag. Wow. I don't even want to dilute her deck. We just... Why Why would we ever do such a thing? We, we literally just win the game. Like, I think LeBlanc was the right pick. Like, I know that Aesol could have done this too, but like... 
the only, I only used one ASOL run. Everything else was, was completely fine. I could have used ASOL for something else. Okay, we literally just have to live for one turn. So as long as we don't get completely one-shot, we should be okay. We should get the spiders. There we go. As long as we have the spiders, we'll be able to block both. There we go. There we go. Yeah, why not? We'll just buff this one, I guess. Because this one's dead anyways. It is going to give him a couple traps, but that's okay. Yep, we're dead anyways. Alright, cool. Uh, so now, we're going to play LeBlanc. And all units have spell shield. Yep, so they can't kill my LeBlanc. And I'm going to get a free gin as well with spell shield. And I'm going to be able to attack like this with even more. Like, look at how much damage I do. They have to block everything. Like, they have to. There's, there's no choice. This skill is useless from Jin, but I mean, it's just nice to have. Like, I guess, like, if we ever attack that many times... And then, next time you attack, we can just play this again. And then, uh... Get even more of the blocks. <laughs> it's really broken. I don't really... This is fine now. Like, I'm not worried about her. I have, like... I can block again with Jin. I have this for the ball. How is she not leveled yet? Man, I actually thought she would have been leveled by now. Um, just play a unit. I have my orders. Citizen. Minding details is my duty. I have my own leveled Caitlyn actually. Sorry, uh, Caitlin, but, uh, you've got someone who's ready to show you up. I'm gonna show you up bad. I think this is the one that just gives you permanent spell shield, if I remember correctly. All units have spell- yeah. I think it's just constantly applying, so there's not much you can do about it. Are you certain? I'm not even gonna block with LeBlanc. Why? Why would I- I can block with Jin because I have another Jin, but like, if I lose that LeBlanc, I am in a much worse position. But if I just play, I just play Jin, and I play LeBlanc next turn, what do they even do? Actually, I think. Do I just play. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. Do I just play double on this Jin, maybe? But no, because it won't give me double. It will only give me the one extra. So, we're going to do this. Alright, perfect. Look at how much damage you do. All right, come on. This is it, baby. For the win. That's right. Let's go. Yeah, see that? It doesn't practice spell shield. It's permanent. It'll never proc that spell shield. Ever. Let's go. All right. Well, we win now. Yeah, I think that that LeBlanc is just a little too strong. I think Isol is good too. Like, you could definitely run Isol for this last one. Especially with the permanent spell shield. You can get a lot of value. But that LeBlanc, man. That LeBlanc. She's just too good. And you only get 750 for completing the last one. Wow. We did it. We did it. It's three minutes. We got that 40 fragments. All right, let's see where our official placing on the leaderboard is. See... Congratulations, you completed all the challenges for this month. Check the leaderboard for your rank. I'm going to check the rank. I am rank number seven. I had somebody that somebody completed it just a little bit before me. Either way, I am number seven on that leaderboard. That is where I will hold and forever be. So uh, hopefully you guys appreciate 
the video for this month. Uh, this is the first time I've genuinely tried to, like, completely grind out uh, one of these challenges. I took some breaks here and there, but I'd say overall the entire process took about maybe, like, 12-ish hours because I had to do some recording, and I took a break, do some recording, took a break. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this entire series of videos. It was a blast to make. I enjoyed making this for the for the first time ever to do the actual challenges. I got all of the rewards. You can see that um, I now have, for Aurelian Soul, 60 total fragments, which is just insane. And I also have um, quite a few interesting stuff. Like I have the, the new Cosmic Pearls and everything like that. So quite the blast. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And that, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of your own monthly challenge experience. Let me know how far you guys made it. How well you guys did in terms of stuff. I wasn't even necessarily trying to be perfect, but near the end, I was like, oh my god, I can do it. And so, therefore, I tried to do it. But uh, you don't have to be perfect on this as long as you end up completing the actual run. Let me know what you guys did in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.